Here we are at the University of California, San Diego, Star Cave. This is a virtual reality installation that has 34 projectors and 15 panels. That's uh, two projectors per eye per panel, plus four on the floor being projected from above. Hi, I'm Todd Margolis. I'm the technical director for the Center for Research in Computing and the Arts at the University of California, San Diego. Today we're in the Star Cave, which is housed at Cal AT2, and we're looking at a virtual reality environment. I see it in 3D, and we're recording it with a 3D camera, so you should be seeing it in 3D. We're looking at a very high-res stereoscopic panorama taken in Egypt. I'm going to hand it off to Jürgen Schultz, who will tell you more about the details on how this image is created and how we're actually rendering it live. I'm Jürgen Schultz and I'm a research scientist here at the Cal IT2 Research Center. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the technology that we use to generate these 3D panoramic images here in the Star Cave. The Star Cave is a 15 screen, 34 HD projector environment in which we can generate three dimensional images. We use passive stereo and that's why I'm wearing these glasses. When we look at the images around us, we're looking at a panoramic image that was done with two cameras to do stereo on a tripod using a gigapan rig, which means that these two cameras, they both look in the same direction and they move around automatically with this rig to take 72 image pairs around the position that the tripod is located in. In this example, we're looking at a scene in Egypt, in Luxor, where these images were taken 360 degree around the, degrees around the viewer. So what we can do here is, with our application, uh, we can look around the scene, we can rotate this to see what the camera saw at the time that these images were taken. And thanks to the Sony 3D camera, we can actually see that in the 3D movie too. We can see the 3D from the images, and you can see me standing in front of these images, just like a tourist would. We got special permission to take these pictures um, here in Egypt. Uh, Tom DeFonte was there on location with a team from Kowski University and they um, got permission to take these high resolution images with the Gigapan, which is not something that you can do if you just go there as a tourist. It's beautiful to see the detail here in these images. Um, you have high definition screens and uh, the images that were taken were taken at a resolution even higher than the screens that we can that we use here to replicate the image. 